my mother was born here and she's 65, so we've been here 65 years and I can't actually say how long before that. Are you tenant farmers? Tenant here, yeah. 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 Chumley States. Always been a dairy herder here, yes. I took over the farm in, what, 20 years ago when my father became ill. We were looking for an 860 herringbone parlour then, with about 80 cows. Two years ago, well, I put in a new system here, uh, robots, and the herd size is creeping up now to 150 cows. We would like to get more than that with another robot. We've got two robots here at the moment, I'd like to put another one in to make three. Two or three companies that actually make these robots now. They've been around the robots for probably 15 years, but they've been, they've come and gone, and now they come back again. These were the first robots that were put in in Cheshire by uh, Fullwoods. I put them in because of a labour problem we were having on the farm. So difficult to, to get uh, Get good labour, yeah, to milk cows. I travelled all over the country looking at these robots working. As soon as I saw them working, I knew that I was on them. Was that a considerable investment for you? A considerable investment, yeah. The cow basically has free access to the units 24 hours a day, so they're actually milking it 24 hours a day. The cow can walk in whenever she wants to be milked. The computer analyses all the data, so if the computer says she's not due to be milked, she won't be milked, it'll just let her straight back out of it. If she's due to be milked, it identifies the cow through a pedometer, which is on the cow's leg. That pedometer actually is monitoring the cow's number of steps the cow takes so for health reasons. The robot identifies the cow, the arm goes in underneath the cow with the cluster on it and a laser finds the teats and puts the clusters on. They get fed inside the robot, that's what ties them into the robot to begin with. So they're actually coming in to be fed, yeah. but at the same time being fed, they're getting milked. They're rationed automatically through the uh, computer. So basically, if they don't come in enough times today and they don't get enough corn in this 24 hour period, give them extra tomorrow, which they haven't met today, or if they have too much today, they can take them off it tomorrow. Oh. And that works on a 10 day average. It's been a long training process. And how did you go about doing that? Very, very hard. Nightmare, basically. It probably took us about eight months to train all the cows. 24 hours a day job for about uh, three months, pushing cows on. And then all of a sudden we'd be a bit tarted to take to it. And yeah. Now the uh, dust going in and out as, as a lot when they want. Some cows milk six times a day, some milk in once a day. It turns to lactation, basically. And if you were to get new cows, would they learn from the herd? They learn from the herd, they learn very quickly. The first calf efforts they learn very, very quickly as well.
cows in here average about 28 litres at the moment today. At this present time, I think the farm's sending away about 2,900 litres a day. It goes to Muller there to make the yoghurt. The last two years, we've sent to Muller. Because yeah. Muller try and get, get the milk within a 25 mile radius of the factory. Mm-hmm. So they're trying to get all the farms. Okay, because they're just they're kind of down they're the road that way. Trading, yeah. yeah. time with the children and we're not tied to the milking parlour 24 hours a day. So it's really freed you up? Yeah, but if there's a problem with the robots, they ring you up. So it's 24 hour a day on court and right. night and day. <laughs> so if there's a problem, you, you have to sort it, do you? We sort it, yeah. But robots will ring your mobile phone. Get right, Brandon. Do you think, say, in, I don't know, uh, five, ten years, there'll be a, a lot more yes. of these parlours? Yeah. There's two next door, a few more in Tarford, there's some more in Wem. And I suppose within the farming community, people have been talking to each other and yeah, words so got out. Yeah. And I suppose you've had a lot of visits. I have a lot of visits. <laughs> <laughs> people sort of weighing up the pros yeah, and cons, I guess. Right. You would certainly advocate. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not for everybody. It's a difficult time of change, change your yeah. and yeah. change your lifestyle. I suppose it's having the sort of courage to make that leap, isn't it? <coughs> and, uh, yeah, the courage to make that leap. It's a life change, and, and the trouble is the day, fam. And you, you're from going from milking twice a day, being set times all the way through the day, yeah, that all goes. For the first few months, it's a very strange feeling. <laughs> <laughs>